Your locks is not going to look like anybody else's locks that you ever seen in person, on YouTube, on a picture, on Pinterest, on Google. It's not. Okay? Your locks are not going to look like nobody else's but yours. Okay? I don't care how many lock crushes you have, boo. I don't care how many people that you've seen that has your same hair type. Your locks are going to be your locks. Do not have lock envy. Do not have lock envy and do not have lock dreams that your hair is going to look like someone else's. I don't care if y'all twins. Look. So bad. So real. So good. So good. Diamonds, the sin up the roof. I got a fly, I need a jet. I need room for my legs. I got a baby, I need some money. Money. What I really wanna see is the money. I don't really need to be any the money. Back with another video. Back, back with another video. Hey, what's up? What's going on? Coming at you real quick with another video. Few things that you should know before you get socialized. I think that it's vital to know these things before you get socialized, before you even try to go get a consultation, before you do your research, before you even save a dollar, okay? Number one, sister locks are not cheap, okay? Sister locks ain't cheap. Sister locks are expensive, okay but at the same time it's just like when you buy something cheap versus you buy something that costs a little bit more the thing that cost a little bit more was worth a little bit more it had a little bit better quality that's the reason why the price was a little bit more so know that you're paying for sister lots because of the brand because of how long it's been around and it has you know what i'm saying made all type of women happy you know it made me happy you made me happy you know what i'm saying so also, you paying for that person's time and effort. Such a lot take a long time to get installed. You're paying for that grid, that amazing grid. I can't show you right now because my hair needs to be retied and it's a hot mess. So, yeah, you can't even see my scalp right now. I feel like I'm the only person that has such a lot of videos where my grid ain't intact. Every day. Like, dang, how do y'all do it? How do y'all do it? So you need to go on the official website to make sure that you find a consultant. That's something that is very unique about getting sister locks. Most other types of locks, you can go to any salon, you can go to your friend, your homegirl, you can do them yourself. But with sister locks, you have to go to a consultant or a certified trainee in order to know for sure that you have sister locks because they are trained to install them and they have to sign contracts and all that. Um, so that makes them really sister locks. You also receive a birth certificate. Like, it ain't the game. You receive a birth certificate with sister locks to prove that you have authentic sister locks. So that is why they're so dang on expensive. The install takes forever and a day. You're going to be sitting there for half of your life. Not as much. <laughs> but you're going to sit there for a long time. So that is another reason why. Because it just takes so dang on long. When you first get your sister lock, the grid is going to show. You're going to see that grid from probably a mile away, okay? Now, with my installation, I can see the grid. But, like, in this area still till this day, this middle section, I, I, I can't see the grid as much. But you can see my parts everywhere. You can see each individual lock. And I kind of like it like that. You know, I have a problem with that. But if you have thin hair or fine hair, it's going to be very spacey, a lot more spacier than if you have coarse and thick hair. So you have to be aware of that, that you're going to be looking like, they call it a plucked chicken. But I didn't go through that phase, so I can't really say too much on that. My hair just laid down, and you seen my locks, but it wasn't really bad. Okay, so... You know, it's different for every person, okay? It's not gonna be as full, not it's gonna be not gonna be as thick, but as as time goes, that grid is gonna fall in and your locks are gonna get thicker and fuller. So in the beginning stages, you might be able to see your scalp, they say it's scalpy, plucked chicken, all of that kind of stuff. Be prepared for that, but just know that that's a part of the phase that it's gonna go away. It's gonna just Ain't no way. People will ask you so many dang on questions like, 
people ask me like, what is them? What, what, what do you have in your hair? They so tiny. What is that? Are those dreadlocks? Can you take them down? How much did you pay for them? Why you pay that much? Who did all them little bitty things in your hair? Is those twists? Is those braids? What is it? Oh, why you gotta pay that much for a sister lock? So don't be offended when people ask you a billion one questions just know that you have something in your hair that's unique and different and interesting so you should be flattered like oh you know it's just some super locks you know y'all yeah, paid this much i'm a baller no just playing it's up to you to um tell somebody how much you paid or if you don't want to tell somebody how much you pay that's all on you okay um you can wash your hair or style your hair within a day or so, however, when, however long you want to do it, after you get your install, okay? You don't have to wait to wash it or style it like with other locks. Uh, when I had my traditional locks, I couldn't wash my hair right away. I couldn't style it right away. I was styling and profiling like day two, like uh, uh, day three, I had mental knots in my hair. And I didn't have any slippage or unraveling or anything like that. But that does depend on your hair type, so that's not for everyone. That can everyone can't do that. But it is an option with sister locks that you can style right away, and you can wash your hair if it's itching or uh, whatever right away. It is more maintenance though. Like it's more maintenance to have sister locks because you have a manicure lock. You want to keep them looking neat. You want to have them tidy, and you have to because if you don't, they can break off because they're so small you have to maintain them at all times with getting retightenings on time you have to have a schedule retighten you have to pay for that retighten if you're not doing it yourself um self retightenings can be um you know they take a long dang on time and it can be risky because if you're not a professional or if you never did lots before you might make some mistakes retighten is definitely an option but it is um a lot of work it takes a few out. It takes longer to do your own locks than for a consultant to do it. You're not paying as much, but you're taking out a longer amount of time to do them, and you're risking damaging your locks. So you can self retie, but that's still a part of maintenance. You got to keep these things up. You can't just go months without retying them and just free for all. You have to keep them maintained. Um, minimum styling. With the maintenance, you don't want to be just doing like super tight pull back styles. You don't want to just be messing in your locks all the dang on time because you could have some slippage or unraveling or bunching or any of those different problems that you can have with messing with your locks too much. Okay? You got to have patience with these bad boys. Like you got to have some patience. You can't expect your hair to just be like, you know, press a button and it's going to grow all down your back. You got to have patience with them locking, changing. Just doing whatever they want to do. My hair just does what it wants to do. It's over here, it's over there. Some of them fat, some of them skinny. Um, and you just got to be patient and you have to be ready for that. Your hair is going to change as it wants to. It's going to lock how it wants to. Um, you can't do anything about it. It may lock fast, it may lock slow. You just got to have patience with the locking process, with the growing process, and with the bending and braiding and just... I'm sorry, the braiding and banding and just the maintenance overall of having sister locks, okay? Have patience. Don't use any products. Let the products go. Don't put any creams, oils, conditioners, um, sprays. Just leave it all alone. Now, I did use distilled water a few times. I don't use it as much as I used to, um, but that's not like an actual product that's created by someone for hair okay it's just water okay so i don't put anything in my hair setting lotions nothing nada i just left it all alone okay you will have a consultant which is kind of different than locks because the consultant is actually um just a person who has been certified in installing such locks and caring for such locks they are someone that you have to look up on the website and get and they can help you uh, with tips and different questions that you have, which is very different than any other lot because you might have a lotician, but I feel like you only really go to your lotician when needed. But a consultant, it seems like with that consultant, you have to count on them. You depend on them a little bit more than just a regular stylist because you have to be like, look, girl, can I do this? Girl, can I do this? Should I do this? And who do I do that? Blah, 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 blah. 
you got to consult your consultant. So that's another thing that's different with Sister Lock. Your locks is not going to look like anybody else's locks that you ever seen in person, on YouTube, on a picture, on Pinterest, on Google. It's not. Okay, your locks are not gonna look like nobody else's but yours, okay? And that's something you have to really, 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 really remember. Like, I don't care how many lock crushes you have, boo. I don't care how many people that you've seen that has your same hair type. Your locks are going to be your locks. Do not have lock envy. Do not have lock envy and do not have lock dreams that your hair is gonna look like someone else's. I don't care if they got the same exact hair you got. I don't care if you got the same, I don't care if y'all twins. Your locks are going to be your locks. So make sure you prepare for that in your head that your locks are not going to look like your old girls, your best friend, your bestie, your consultants. Now bodies. They ain't going to look like nobody's, okay? You're not going to be locked twins with nobody. <laughs> I'm for real. These sorts of locks come out how they want to come out. And you never know what they're going to come out like, but they're beautiful in their own way for every person, Okay. So I hope that this video prepared you for your sister lock installation and then, and it cleared up all your thoughts that maybe you have. And I will be coming back with another video on another day tomorrow. So I hope you come back again and watch that one. Thanks again for subscribing. I appreciate y'all subscribing like y'all been. I'm going to give my do my giveaway at the end of Vlogmas, the last day of Vlogmas. I'm going to give my giveaway. It's going to be super special. So I hope that you win that prize. And um, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget, leave me a comment. Let me know how y'all doing today. Um, see you tomorrow. Bye!